One of my favorite things about the winter holidays are gingerbread cookies. So I couldn't resist the opportunity to share these with my pup and yours as well. <laughs> Before we get started, we need to make a hearty winter stew to balance the nutrients present in today's recipe. Combine roasted ham, beef heart, eastern oysters, sockeye salmon, kale, shiitake mushrooms, basil, chili powder, eggshell powder, omega-3 fish oil, choline, and kelp powder in the food processor or blender to make our winter stew. Now we can prepare some tasty treats knowing that our dog's diet is still going to be safe and balanced. And of course, since these treats are vegetarian and absent of any artificial sweeteners, we're going to make some extra for ourselves. The first thing we are going to do is make oat flour by running some whole rolled oats through the food processor until they turn into a powder. Oats are really high in protein, vitamins, and minerals, and the oat flour that we are going to use is going to provide all of the manganese and the thiamine that our dogs need to balance out their hearty stew that we made earlier. Now, let's measure the oat flour needed for our cookies. And we are definitely going to want the aromatic sweetness that honey adds to our recipe. Only a little though. We are going to use molasses as our primary sweetener in our gingerbread cookies. And it's a good thing ginger is dog safe because we couldn't very well have gingerbread cookies without ginger. Molasses adds a super deep and rich flavor that, when combined with the sharp edge of our ginger, we have come to know and love as the strongest trademark of gingerbread cookies. Since both of these ingredients are safe for dogs, we can balance their nutrients with those of other ingredients to create an overall healthy treat for our dogs to have for this holiday season. <laughs> Wheat germ oil will ensure that we get the vitamin E that we need. We do also need to add some canola oil to balance the fatty acids. Now that we have all the ingredients that we need, we can mix our gingerbread cookie dough. Now, I want to grab a gingerman cookie cutter to use as a mold for my dough. I'm going to fill the cookie cutter corner to corner and then lift it to start over with a new cookie. Much like our other cookie recipes, the ingredients in our gingerbread cookies are dependent on soy milk to balance their nutrients with those of our winter stew. So we are going to serve our gingerbread cookies with soy milk. Once the cookies darken around the edges and are lightly firm to the touch, they are ready to be pulled out of the oven and cooled off. We are going to safely transfer them to a plate to cool, and then they'll be ready to be gobbled up. Thank you so much for joining us today on Do It With Daisy. I hope that you and your dog enjoyed today's episode and enjoy your treats. Remember to consult your licensed veterinary nutritionist or your veterinarian before making any changes to your pet's diet. And we will see you next week for some more doggone cooking. Follow us on all of our social media, Twitter and Instagram at Darlin Daisy May, and YouTube and Reddit, Do It With Daisy. And don't forget to check out our blog, doitwithdaisy.com.